This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Pagpagan po natin ang Panginoon na muling nabuhay. Ang isinisigaw ng buong sambayanan ng Diyos, walang laman ang libingan. Siya'y muling nabuhay, ang Panginoong Kristo'y nagtagumpay. It is with great joy that we celebrate today the solemnity of Easter, the reason of our faith. We begin then in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord has indeed risen. Alleluia. Glory and kingship be His forever and ever. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. <laughs> 
isinisigaw ng simbahan sa harapan ng kamatayan. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? Sa ating mga sumasampalataya kay Kristo, alam na natin na ang kasaysaya hindi matatapos, magtatapos sa libingan o hindi magtatapos sa kalbaryo. Ito'y magtatapos sa pagtagumpay ni Kristo na siya ring ating tagumpay. For those moments when our faith was not strong, we ask His forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We join our hearts. We raise our voices to this God as we together sing, Glory to God in the highest.
And so we pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the paths to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of the earliest Christian kerygma, that is, the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus' victory over death. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Christ's resurrection challenges the Christian to die to his corrupt and evil ways and to rise as a new person, sincere and faithful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Sabay po ngayon ating basahin ang sequence of Easter. Together, Christians to the Paschal victim offer you thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Right angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen. Our, Our new life, life obtaining. obtaining. Have, Have mercy, mercy Victor King, King ever reigning. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. We sing again the Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the clothes that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam niyo na po tong joke na to. Sa isang mental institution, yung director ng hospital wanted to find out kung yung tatlo sa kanyang mga pasyente ay pwede nang i-release sapagat napakatagal na roon at gusto niya nang malaman kung pwede na nga ito'y 
makaalis na doon sa kanilang mental institution. So, ang ginawa po niya, inupuan niya yung apat, yung tatlo, at umpisahang tanungin. Para malaman kung pwede na nga. Tinanong niya yung una, eh kayo ho'y matagal na ho rito sa ating mental institution. Mga ilang taon na ho kayo. Matanong nga kayo, sino po ba ang pangalan ninyo? Ako, si Abraham Lincoln. Sabi niya, ay, may sayad pa to. Hindi <laughs> pa pwedeng i-release. Tinanong nga yun niya yung ikalawa. Eh kayo po naman, sino po ang inyong pangalan? Sagot nung isa. Kilala mo na ako. Ako si Napoleon Bonaparte. Sabi niya, ay may sayo din ito. Pero gusto niyang laliman. Eh sino naman ho ang nagsabi sa inyo niyan? Sinabi sa akin ng Diyos. Sumagot yung pangatlo, hindi ko sinasabi yan. <laughs> ay yun ang mas may tama. <laughs> Ayun ang mas may topa. Brothers and sisters, napakarami na po ang dumaan sa mundong ito who have constantly claimed divinity. And one of them, was Jesus. Sabi nga nila, pag ang isang tao sinabing ikay siya'y Diyos, pwedeng tatlong bagay. Number one, pwedeng siya'y may topa. Loko-loko. Pero kung hindi loko-loko, eh baka nanluloko. Pero ang nakakatakot, yung ikatlo, eh baka yung sinasabi, totoo. And for three years, the disciples with Peter began to progress into believing na itong si Kristo ng ito, eh baka ito na yung totoo. Kasi they saw His powers, they saw incredible things done by Him. And even as He claimed Himself equal to the Father, and even as He claimed Himself truly beloved to Him, aba, yung mga ganong salita ay nasusuportahan ng kanyang ginagawa. He would command the devils to go away and they would obey. Aba, hindi basta-basta yun. He spoke with the authority na wala sa mga ibang teachers nung kanilang panahon. He would tell a layman to walk and he would walk the blind man to see and they would see and even raise somebody from the dead. Only a man of God should be able to do it. But more than that, Peter was one of the very few who was privileged to hear the voice of the Father at the moment of the transfiguration, declaring, Truly, this is my beloved Son. And so when Peter was there watching all of this, he began to believe na, Sigurado na, panalo na to. Ito yung aming sinusundan, ito na yung totoo. And yet, on the day when Jesus was brought before Pilate, Peter began to doubt. Alam niya kung bakit? Kasi hindi niya maisip na itong sinasabing makapangyarihang tao who would even command the wind to be silent and the waves to be still and they would obey. Aba nakita niya ito, biglang pinagsasampal-sampal na lamang. Aba kinakalagkad na lamang kung saan. Nang hindi nagsasalita at hindi nagre-reklamo. And towards the end of the last few hours, he would see this man crucified. He would see this man bleeding, crowned with a crown of thorns, insulted. Abay, sabi niya, anong klase ito? Bakit hindi niya ipagtanggol ang sarili? Bakit hindi niya gawin? Ipamalas uli ang kanyang kapangyarihan na aming nakita para kami tunay ng maniwala na siya na nga ang inaantay na Mesiya. May nabasa po ako and it, it really has a great impact on me. Kasi, nang si Kristo po daw ay ando na, pinapa ako sa krus. After the great torture, the weeping na nangyari, eto siya ngayon nakahandusay na sa krus, going through so much pain, kaya pala ang katagang excruciating, na ibig sabihin, malalimang pait dusa. The angels in heaven were watching. The hosts in the armies of archangels were there watching. And they could not believe it. Kung ano ang ginagawa ng mga nilika sa kanilang tagapagdika. And at that point, they were crying out, To arms! Prevent the tragedy that the Son of Man so suffer greatly. And they were looking at the Father in heaven to just signal and they will attack 
Why? To save the Son of God. And finally, even as the Father just watched, the archangels daw lumapit na and asked, Almighty God, why don't you do something? They are killing your son. He's going through so much pain. And the father was silent. And they insisted, just tell us and we will stop this. We, the armies of angels and saints, we will stop this. And the father said, I can stop it. But then, it will not be love. Anong ibig sabihin? Pero kung hihinto ko to, hindi mararamdaman at maunawaan ng tao ang tindi ng pag-ibig ko sa kanila at ang pagmamal din ng anak ko para sa kanalang kaligtasan. And this is what Peter could not understand. Na si Kristo hindi pinapatay. He was nag-aalay ng buhay. Na si Kristo was not being forced to do this. He was actively presenting himself as a gift for the salvation of all. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, even if Christ three times predicted that He is going to suffer and die, ang hindi maunawaan ng mga disipulo is that one day He will rise. Sa harapaan ng taong para sa kanila, He was guilty and had to be crucified. The Father vindicated His Son and raised Him up from new life. Kaya nakakatuwa na sa araw pong ito, ang ating ibanghelyo ay eto na si Pedro at si Juan. You know, may nakita po ako, may pinanood po ako na napakaganda, scientific research and the shroud. Ang shroud po ay parang ganito. It is made of linen, pambalot sa mga patay. And it is folded this way. Kung saan inilalagay nila sa loob, yung patay, ganon, at pagkatapos tatakpan, at pagkatapos tatalian. Nagtaka lamang sila nang tinignan nila yung shroud, na ito nga yung shroud, pero sa taas, mayroong strap na pareho din ng material na naandun, na parang tinahit dinugtong dito din sa baba. And even as they examined what it was, they finally understood, ay, eto yung strap na idinugtong na lang uli. Ito yung strap na pagkatapos mong matakpan ang bangkay, babalutin mo yung strap ng strap, yung patay. And they were asking, bakit ganito? Siguro may nag na para hindi mawala, itinahi ulit doon sa napakalaking shroud mismo. Ito yung kanilang discovery. Bakit si Juan, na nang siya'y dumating at pinauna si Pedrong pumasok, at sumunod lamang siya, John would himself say, He saw and he believed. He saw and he believed. Bakit? Kasi lahat sila tumakbo eh. Kasi lahat sila iniwanan si Kristo. Si Juan lang ang hindi. At malamang sa malamang, si Juan din ang kasama sa pagatid sa kanyang bangkay at kasamang nagbalot sa kanya nang ito'y ipinasok sa loob na ng kanyang kweba. Why did John saw and believe? Simple ang kasagutan ng researcher. Kasi nang tinignan niya, andun yung balot, andun pa yung strap. Ngunit walang laman na bangkay. And he understood. Truly, tinupad niya ang kanyang pangako that after three days, magtatagumpay siya sa kamatayan. Mga kapatid, napakarami ang mga pinuno sa ating kasaysayan who will claim that they are God. But all of them, katulad ni Kristo, ngayon mayroong libingan. Pero hindi katulad ni Kristo, silang lahat, ang kanilang libingan ay may laman at ang kay Kristo'y wala. Ito ang ikinatutuwa ng ating simbahan. The tomb is empty. Ang libing ay walang laman. Ang Kristo'y tinupad ang kanyang pangako na para sa kati, siya'y muling magtatagumpay at ang tanggumpay na yay sa ati ipapahagi. Kanina o'y nung pisahan natin ang ating seremonya sa pag-awit ng Handel's Messiah. 
Alam niyo po, nakakatawa yung kwentong yan. Si Handel po at the age of eight began to play already the piano and the harpsichord. And he was good at it. At the age of 13, gumawa na siya ng kanyang opera. And even at a very young age, he was a demand. Click na click siya. Okay, okay ang karir niya. He was in every court of Europe. If they had a party, Handel had to be a part of it. But when Handel was at age 56, dahil sa pariwarang buhay, alam niyo po, he suddenly found himself in debts. At alam niya na pwede niya siyang mabilanggo ng mga naniningil sa pagkatindi na siya makabayad. He was a sickly man. He was a man in dire needs. And at that moment, as he walked through the snow, that day he decided to commit suicide. Pumasok po siya sa isang maliit na chapel lamang makapagdasal bago magpakamatay. At natagpuan niyang isang napakalaking krus na naandun. At habang tinitignan niya, ramdam niya sa kanyang puso habang siya'y umiiyak. Ang mga kataga ni Kristong sinabi, Lahat ng ito ginawa ko para sa iyo. At ako'y nagtagumpay. Yang tagumpay na yay, ibinabahagi ko sa iyo. My dear friends, lumabas siya with a new result. Kung ilang taon na rin hindi siya nakakapag-compose para nawala ang lahat ng inspirasyon. Pero nung gabing yun, for the next 21 days, halos walang tulog, he began to compose. And he began to compose what we today call the Handel's Messiah. Considered the most famous of all the choral pieces of music in our human history. One that is truly considered a beautiful work of art. And in there, dinagdag ni Handel, For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah! The kingdom of His world has, be kingdom, has become the kingdom of our Lord, of His Christ. And He shall reign forever and ever. King of kings, Lord of lords. Hallelujah. My dear friends, nang una itong tinugtog niya sa Dublin, na andun ang hari ng Inglaterang, Inglaterang si King George II. During the time his kingdom was a kingdom where the sun never sets, umikot ang buong mundo. Mayroong kaparte ng kaharian ni King George doon. But at the moment this sound was heard, King of kings, Lord of lords. Tumayo si King George. sa at alam niya, hari nga siya. Pero ang sinasamba natin, hari sa mga hari, na siyang nagtugumpay sa buong mundo upang ang tao'y makatanggap ng kaligtasan. My dear friends, today, this is what we are celebrating. Kasi sabi ni St. Paul, kung hindi tinupad ni Kristo ang kanyang pangakong siya'y muling nabuhay, walang silbi ang ating pananampalataya. Walang silbi ang ating ipinapahayag. Walang silbi ang ginawa ni Mother Teresa ang pagsasakripisyo. Walang silbi ang ginawa ng mga martir at mga missionaries. Walang silbi ang patuloy nating ginaganap. Ngunit alam natin, nabuhay siya at ang pangako niya ay kasama niya. Tayong lahat ay mananaig sa kamatayan, sa kadiliman, sa kasamaan. Challenge nito para sa ating lahat. In a world where tatlo lamang ang sinasabing kadahilanan kung bakit people move. Pag ang isang bagay ay convenient, madali. Pag ang isang bagay ay popular, walang kalaban. Pag ang isang bagay ay pinagkakakitaan. Today we are told, Your Christ has greater things than these. Your Christ is a Lord who promises you life eternal, victory over death. With the whole world, we stand to proclaim, King of kings, Lord of lords, He reigneth forever. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Brothers and sisters, Christ the Lord of life has made all of us in Christ Jesus His children. And through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in the newness of life. 
And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, raised from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us in His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord and our eternal life. Amen. At sa ating pag-ikot upang kayo wisikan ng simbolo ng ating binyag, make the sign of the cross to accept that in the cross of Jesus is to be found glory and victory. Dalhin natin ngayon sa Panginoon na siyang ating Ama kay Kristo Jesus, ang ating mga dalangin at ang ating mga pangailangan. With the confidence of children, we pray, Father, we beseech you, hear us. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May the Church proclaim with all courage your Son's victory to a world living in sin, in agony and in fear. We pray. Father, Father we, we beseech, beseech you, you hear, hear us. us. May the ecclesiastical and government leaders die to their personal interests so that, like the Good Shepherd, they may serve your people faithfully. We pray. Father, Father we, we beseech, beseech you, you hear, hear us. May all the baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May there be new hope and life for our nation through clean, honest, and credible elections and the advent of a capable and principled leadership. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May the faithful departed share in Christ's glorious resurrection. We pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. For the 63rd wedding anniversary, 
of Henry and Molly C. yesterday for the birthday intentions of Father Mon Bautista, for the Cesar Dotal anniversary of Father Domi Guzman, for the intentions of Mr. and Mrs. Dave Allen Marcon, Marcor and family, and Miss Adi Velasquez, let us pray to the Lord. Father, we beseech you, hear us. Father, your Son, conquer the power of death, that our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives to Jesus who is Lord and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented. Sacrifice in mind be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wonderfully reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to acclaim you O Lord on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic posts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
For indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis the first our pope with Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyaring ka, kasama Santo, magpasawa lang hanggang ng tawagin ng Diyos bilang Ama sapagkat kay Kristo Jesus na nagtagumpay, tayo'y naging kasapi ng kanyang sambayan ng mahal. We pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graces you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless one another with the gift of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. siyang nagtagumpay ang Panginoong muling nabuhay mapapalad tayong sa Kanya'y tumatanggap Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive Him Amen For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Tayo po'y manalangin. Please all stand. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gusto ko pong magpasalamat sa mga nag-provide po ng bagong damit ng ating choir at ng ating pong mga Uh, body Praise Ministry no? uh, with Generous Heart. Hindi namin manasyadong minimension ng mga pangalan para hindi po mas sila mawala ng biyaya from above. And we would also like to thank the Lord for sending us this wonderful kid who does the saxophone for us. No? Palapakan natin tong batang to. A very young man. At nangangako po siyang ating makakasama every Sunday mula ngayon. You know? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go celebrate in this and in glory in this that you have a God, a man in Jesus who has been risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Wednesday healing mass. Yeah.